Hello everyone, a heartily welcome to you all and thank you all for joining me in our Britain Red World series. In the last episode you could vote on the fight of the United Kingdom. In the first episode this was, I want to thank you all for liking and subscribing. Go sure to share it with your the friends if you complete. haven't yet, so okay, just ignore that message. <laughs> then let's see, the cards, alright. So, you could vote, what shall happen to Britain was the question of the poll. Yeah, in total I got 211 votes. Go sure, well, that's a bit less out of 2000, considering it's like only maybe 10%, so... Please go through the vote, it's just one click. And otherwise, 211 people voted, and let's see. 41% said letter in or body for the House of Commonwealth. 26% said per letter in public parliament. 10% said lock out democracy. 10% said lock out government of strength of fascists. And 9% said lock out the people's government. So the easiest choice got the least votes, which makes sense. So I'm completely agreeing with the majority of my subscribers and viewers. And I say that I will do the path, let her in, abolish the house of commons. 88. 80 and 8. 88 people <laughs> voted for that. Mm, nice number, I have to say there. Really, really interesting. Then let's get into the Heart of Iron 4 and then let's get our, the British restoration going. I also enabled the uh, mod for increased cause bellies. Uh, so uh, we don't have to wait one year so we aren't like a start a war because of this that I found really annoying. So, our first war will be against the Norwegians, most likely. Let's see, do you think that Britain will be able to, to establish a British supremacy in Scandinavia? Well, we, I mean, we are called the United Kingdom, this makes sense, since all of the Scandinavian countries are actually a kingdom. So we would be the United Kingdom of uh, Great Britain, Norway, Denmark, Sweden and Finland, yeah. Let's uh, take that as, as our principle. Why do I click on a new game? Okay, you see one mod is missing. This That's because I uh, converted the Red World to Red World Offline. So, updates don't interfere with our gameplay experience. Let's get into the game playing as the United Kingdom with a fairly small army and a fairly weak industry. But I intend to change that. You can be sure of that. The Queen shall be the absolute ruler and restore the British Empire. Here you see, Queen Storm's Parliament. You voted for let her in. I'm gonna let her in. No, look to that. Who would have expected that? Queen dissolves Parliament. I hereby authorize my royal decree to dissolve this house at once. These closing words of a grand but brief speech follow the Queen's message to Britain. According to her, the assassination of Prime Minister Owen by Soviet agents can prove that we are still not safe from the communist threat and that we must enact radical changes to counter it. As news of this historic event reaches the country on the planet, reception is mixed. Some say she's restoring the glory of Britain as a sovereign state, while others claim that this is Britain's path to the dictatorship. Well, only time will tell, that's for sure. Well, what do you think? Well, it will be maybe both. And yeah, having both, the better than here we see. Norwegian is a revolutionary socialist. This is not acceptable. We're gonna conquer them at once. Vestlandet. But I want to finish my uh, research of the um, right, yeah, of the improved in after robots because the thing is that you know if the territory isn't core, we always get like the factories who aren't available in the slot just get destroyed. So if I wait for this like a hundred more days, then I can keep more factories from Norwegian, which is in my interest and I think in our interest. Let's see, scrumming our air force. Yeah, our army is somewhat okay. I also intend to. Stage many many coups uh, across the world. Uh, for that, I will also get a mod called uh, Faster Coups, but not now. For now, I intend to restore British supremacy in the world again. But I'm sure, like sometimes, depending on the choices the Soviet Union does, the Warsaw Pact may dissolve or it may not. Uh, if it dissolves, we shouldn't have a problem. But if it uh, continues to exist, then we will certainly have a problem. I can. Tell you that. Well, I think I should start. Yeah, let's see. Where do I have actually a naval bases? I have a naval base here in the island of San Helena. This means I could actually start invading South Africa. 
The South African army is 6 to 16 division strong, which isn't that strong. So I think they have many. They have 23 to 34 civilian factories. So I think invading South Africa here is in our interest. Yeah, I think they will be our next target after we invaded the Scandinavian. Oh, after we invaded all Scandinavia. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna save up political power to enact these policies. Well. Yeah, after I got Scottish Dockyards, you can be sure that I'll go and let go for let her in. Which will uh, change the politics and the Windsor party will become a ruling party. And the public elections will not be held. The Windsor party becomes the ruling one and the public elections won't be held. That's, it will be the fight of Britain. Alright, then what do we have here? Resource gain efficiency. Uh, perhaps let's... Well, we don't need really that, do we? That's ahead of time. Let's go for a decryption algorithm. Okay, let's uh, slow things down and get ready for the invasion. We have seven ships, but I think they should be ready with the Spur of Admiral uh, Sir Philip Jones, who is an old guard, so yeah, that's not a problem. He will patrol North Sea, Eastern North Sea, and the Norwegian coast. Can our planes reach Norway? No, they cannot, sadly. Yeah, they are too far away. That's sad, but that's okay. That's not a problem. Okay, they are standing by. Let's assign them into the North Sea. Yo, into the North Sea as well. Changing tasks. Okay. There we go. A closer spot. There we go. At least we have air supremacy and now supremacy there. And so we are actually up in late. That's great. Uh, we should get it well in 48 days. So it's valid until when? Until the 9th of December. I'm gonna declare war on the 1st of December. 1st of December will be the time where war begins. Encryption algorithm and modern hardware, I guess. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Engagement of William and Kate. The long expected news that the second in line to the throne was to marry his long term girlfriend was announced by Clarence House earlier today. The prince asked Middleton to marry him during a private holiday in Kenya last month and has the royal press of his trust asked her father's permission. Kate Middleton said during a brief conference at St. James Palace that the prince had been a true romantic and was a loving boyfriend and very supportive of her in good times and also through bad times. The former statement from Clarence House said William's father, Prince Charles, was delighted. Oh, wonderful. Well, good to see the British. Well, for we know, let's let her in. Our glorious queen has dissolved parliament. She shall rule by decree from now onwards. If more rockets, yeah, I want to get more ships then, but at least, okay. We are all assigned to our fleet, the UK Fleet 1. Glorious name, isn't it? This in 40 days, yeah. I don't think Norway should fall in one month. Well, it may be sure, so let's see. We have to capture Oslo anyways, so... Um. Queen officially assumes power. Since the dissolution of Parliament and establishment of absolute control for Her Majesty, she has still not officially become the autocrat she obviously intends to be. Why, however, the de facto has become the euro with uh, Britain's provisional government officially stating Parliament is no more and Her Majesty shall rule unopposed by the traitorous Republicans. Obviously, this was never a shock to the British people. And many are still going about their daily lives, some being more apolitical than ever in these interesting times. Perhaps Queen Elizabeth II really can rule without anyone trying to bring her down. Great. Uh, I have to go for the far right alliance and the empowering. Well, here we, you all agreed that you want to abolish the House of Commons, which I sure I'll do. But this will mean we have to get the far right alliance and the new private council. I can get the new private council right now. This new private council shall only advise the queen, not attempt to directly influence the decisions. For the queen was born to rule with the iron fist. She has. Now been granted, and no one will get in Norway. Yeah, now it's time to declare war on Norway. There we go. Let's call in the allies. Uh, well, we have none because they left our faction, I think. Oh, because we turned. Oh, yeah, the faction was actually dissolved. Oh, look to that. Time to reclaim Ireland and Ulster soon enough. Soon enough. Soon enough, we shall. Oh, I will enact early mobilization at once because I can't go further. Well, the Norwegians are defending Bergen, but we are landing on Alskas. 19th division just landed here. I could start in invite Oslo, but we want to wait 20 more days, so I will just do a manual 
manually uh, securing our ports like this and like that. These six will encircle uh, the troops of Bergen who are desperately trying to yes, get rid of us. There we go, attacking them in Bergen. Let's go and encircle them there. Alright, so that's going great. Come on. Yeah. After we catch up Bergen, let's yes, go ahead and link up our army. Now our army can just ready up and will well we'll wait for the order to attack Strider Donore. After we got the improved in industrial robots. They are already 50% towards capitulation, so the war shouldn't be a problem at all. I'm gonna make them well wait and ready up. After the fall of Oslo and uh, Trondheim, they should surrender. At once they will attack aggressive into the soil. Oh, they are preparing. So let's see. Uh, yeah, they have experiments there, but do we can or not really. These planes can stop their duties. In these provinces at once. They aren't really required. Nine days. The last week. The Norwegian army is around, well, let's say, 50,000 strong, while well, we have 130,000. We lost 80 soldiers while the Norwegians lost 2,000, so that's a yeah, really interesting like, KD ratio to say the least, isn't it? Oh, I could have invaded from there as well, but that's fine. Alright, so... Come on, two, three, two, we can go ahead, start the attack, let's see. We started on the 30th of December, let's see when it's gonna end. These two divisions are marching straight into Oslo, into the capital. Okay, we are I'm marching on unopposed, and we got the research, now we should get... Yep, there we go. Treat of Narvik. Treat of Narvik, take all states. There we go. Welcome to the United Kingdom. Now it's called the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Norway. Yep, United Kingdom of Great Britain and Norway. Let's get into CIM software. We got some two extra factories. With them, I want to get some points. Uh, oh no, actually, wait, since they are really... Out of date, let's actually get uh, more mechanized equipment instead. We have 24 divisions. Let's take, let's include Sweden next, shall we? Yes, include Sweden to our glorious, glorious UK. Alright, they will ready up and prepare. Our manpower should be somewhat sufficient enough. We're getting 1.85 per day thanks to Philip Hammond. The Swedish army is how strong? They have 6 to 10 divisions, so we cannot consider them being a threat, really. Not really. Alright, so... Let's see. Uh, I need apparently more anti-air, so I should queue that in. Don't I have it queued in? No, I do not. Tower anti-air. Also get anti-tank. Tower anti-tank, anti there we go. That is the British war machine. Really strong, isn't it? Alright, we have 12 military, 40 naval, and 32 civilian factories. We are, well, thoroughly expanding our sector really, really quick. New private council will help us more. Well, the Windsor popularity is only 3%, so we want to kind of get that up, I would say. But since the other parties aren't doing anything, that's fine, I guess. That's, that's not a problem. Okay, now it's time to justify against Sweden, conquer Scania. Our kingdom. Okay, after that I'm going to uh, perhaps Denmark or Finland, I'm not sure. Let's uh, go for Denmark, yeah, and then Finland. Alright, so the technology to research, let's... Uh, well, radar station, rocket site perhaps. Mm, yeah, although let's get better airplanes. Okay, let's get the Eurofighter Typhoon, we have to get the Tornado gr 4 first though. We got our private council soon enough. <coughs> Excuse me, let's move in our planes into the airways of Oslandet. These two wings will go to northern Sweden, and these two wings will uh, go to southern Sweden. Alright, achieving complete air supremacy. Yeah, look to this thoroughly made battle plan. And then I can also enact already partial mobilization. Yeah, let's do that, since we shouldn't need uh, more manpower at this very moment. So like the focus, well, we could do war advisor, war advisor, economic advisor, let's abolish the House of Commons, so let's see, we can empower the House of Lords, uh, threaten the Social Democrats, threaten the Conservatives, let's, 
Let's uh, threaten the social democrats, yeah. Social democrats are convinced that the queen <coughs> aims to end the freedom of the British people. We should uh, threaten them before such a dissident party does something stupid. That's a really nice idea. There we go, we got it. Declare war and boom. We are in war against Sweden. Okay, I just have to go sure not to declare war against any communist countries <coughs> because they may join the Warsaw Pact and then I may get uh, raped from the front and from the back, so and we don't want that. Not yet. <laughs> well, the United Arab Republic, they are quite strong. They only have two divisions, but how can I invite them? That's the problem. They only have two divisions, but like I have no... I have nowhere to invite them from. It's uh, something too far away, I guess. Yeah, my navy, well, I could try to get another supremacy. Let's see, my... Close base is in Gibraltar, in Gibraltar, so I'd have to get it one through. It's actually possible to invade them, yep. Next, I'm going to. Not in, in, in Denmark, I'm going to invade. Who would have expected that? Egypt. Egypt. What they control Syria as well? They're called the United Arab Republic. Uh, let's see, actually. Um, considering the. Uh, you know what? If we consider the value of the victory points here. They may surrender after we capture uh, Syria, because let's see, Syria has... Nah. It's for them, yeah, so after we capture Aleppo and Damascus, they will surrender, because it's worth 40, and they don't have uh, more than 100 in total, no way. Yeah, so that's a brutally nice plan, really well thought. You you may think what is he talking about now, but you, you will find out, I can show you that. Okay, it's technology, let's uh, get our, well... Which land doctrine should we get at this point? That's the huge question. First, let's get some better... Let's recruit that as well. And so... Come on, capture Stockholm. After that, they should surrender, I think. So I can send away my army. There we go. Treaty of Norrköping. It will result in total annexation. Total annexation of Sweden. There we go. Now it's called the United Kingdom of Great Britain. Norway and Sweden. Isn't that nice? Now they will all deport by themselves because they know how to do this to uh, this to uh, Gibraltar, Gibraltar, whatever it's called. Gibraltar, yeah. Gibraltar, yeah. Infrastructure should be good enough. All right. We have three military factories. Let's uh, get perhaps. What do we need? What do you need? Let's see. We need more mechanized. Yeah. Um. I should, yeah, motorized, we have enough, let's get more mechanized. Okay, I wanna have a really mechanized army, I, I don't wanna have that uh, stupidly old infantry army, because they are just all knights, yeah. Wanna have a strong army, let's see, my fleet is going to rebase. Threaten, the Social Democrats pledge support. Social Democratic Party leader Shirley Williams has pledged her outright support for Her Majesty's admiration. And in particular, her recent controversial coup against an elected parliament. Disappointing various radicals that had wished for her to rise up against the Queen, Williams made the, this announcement on the glory, on the grounds of parliament on a bright day many haven't seen in weeks. Finally, the issue of STP republicanism can be put to rest, knowing that the paramount leader is completely behind Elizabeth II. That's great. They are will rebase temporarily to. Uh, Gibraltar, they're gonna just go to there. Okay. Then let's uh, threaten the conservatives. Sidelined by the Social Democratic Party and now unable to form government again for a long time, conservatives are itching for revolt against our new order. This is unacceptable. Oh, we sure all hinder this with our with our strength. We will hinder that, that's for sure. The United Arab Republics. I don't know why they have so many factors. We're gonna probably lose most of them, but I don't mind. I'm gonna wait a bit. Now we have 74 factories, greatly and fastly expanding our industrial sector. Okay, yeah, they are coming and we are producing ships fast enough. Yeah, one per month and 1.6 per year there. Well, that's good. More should trade with us, really, but it's only, yeah, two. That's not that nice. You can see them going there one by one, that's great. Still, we only have two arm experience, so I can't do uh, really big changes within uh, my current division template, not really. Uh, I have a dire need of mechanized, although not of light mechanized, so that's really interesting there. 
Okay, that's fine. We can barely speed up the game. They Ready. all finally arrive. Yes, they are. They still won, being really, really slow. Improved AM software. Now let's go ahead. Can we get anything here? That's they're all ahead of time. So let's go ahead and get improved. Actually, let's get here a better weapon. Let's get the L22A2. Yeah. L22A2. All right. So. But see, if I split up my fleet into two, I hope that it will still be strong enough. Let's get Admiral uh, Duncan Potts for patrolling the Western Mediterranean, Mediterranean Sea and Central Mediterranean. Oh, they can't reach the East Eastern Mediterranean Sea. What? Oh, that's horrible. Anyway, it's wedding of William and Kate. Prince William and Kate Middleton met in 2001. The engagement in October of 2010 was announced in November of the same year by Clarence House and the build-up to their wedding has attracted much media attention. The occasion was a public holiday in Britain and featured many ceremonial aspects including the use of the state carriages and roles for the foot guards and household cavalry. Events were held around the nation to mark the wedding with organizations and households holding events. Over 5,000 street parties were held throughout Britain and 1 million people lined the road Britain uh, between Westminster Abbey and Buckingham Palace. The ceremony was viewed by tens of millions more around the world, including 72 million live streams. In our country alone, television audiences peaked at 26.3 million. We wish them well. We do. Now I can finally enact... Not yet. That's fine. Okay, my plans got shut out because I can't get an uh, transparency there, but that's not a problem. Uh, I have to invite Malta then. Let's see, Malta has uh, one division. They are fascists, really? Malta is fascist? Uh, <laughs> okay, well, we're gonna invite them another last conquer Malta. And they shouldn't be a problem. They have one division, we have 24. And they're gonna run out of it at one point. So, capturing Malta after that, our springboard for the invasion. Should be set. What? How? There are no units assigned to the order. Are they now? And how long to prepare? Uh, well, 170 days. Okay, threatening conservatives. Experiencing a leadership contest, the Conservative Party decided it was best for the deputy to make a very special announcement to Britain's media. Nigel Farage called his journalists, allies, and opponents to Conservative the HQ, officially declaring and signing a document that states his party is completely behind Queen Elizabeth II. The document also stated that Her Majesty's coup was perfectly understandable and justified <laughs> against the falling, failing parliament, making the Conservatives the New loving stock of Britain, more or less, however, the Queen shouldn't be seeing any proposition on the Tories anytime soon. Well, that's great. Let's get the far-right alliance. Unlike the rebellious establishment parties, the far-right are more willing to accept our glorious order. Let's say that. Windsor has about 3.7%. Not really a huge change. Okay, we got it ready for Malta and it's valid until when? Valid until the 26th of June. Yeah, I'm gonna wait one more week before that. Then the war's gonna happen. Mm, I can't get war economy. We have to be at war, and yeah, I don't think we can get war economy. Uh, let's go ahead and get more cabinet ministers, perhaps. Queen becomes second longest reigning monarch, monarch, unmarked by any official commemorations. The reign of, of Queen Elizabeth II has become the second longest in British history, or taking that of George III since ascending the throne on the death of her father. George VI on February 6, 1952, the Queen has reigned for a total of 59 years and 110 days. She now ranks uh, second uh, only to Queen Victoria, who died in 1901 after 63 year years. The Queen, who celebrates her second Diamond Jubilee next year, is set to overtake even Victoria's record in September 2016 at the age of 89. Well, he did long live the Queen. Our glorious Queen. Yeah, let's go and get Gabinet Ministers, perhaps Tom Blair, Hawk Faction, Tau Faction, Real Politic Faction. Let's get Boris Johnson, yeah. I don't need unity and I don't need uh, relations opinions, so he's a good guy. Okay. Boris Johnson, welcome to the staff. Now we're getting 2.23 political report per day, which I should use actually to stage some crews later on, not later on. Okay, it's valid for okay, 26th of June, so we can speed things up and just wait until it's ready and steady. Okay, yeah. Ready Actually, that's... Oh yeah, we have the invader already, so that's fine. It's even less by default. Oh, 
Ethiopia joined the Warsaw Pact. Well, um, okay. Good luck, Ethiopia. In a new faction. In the meanwhile, we are, yeah, I think by the end of the episode, I should uh, get somewhere over a hundred factories. Yeah, this I should manage. Well, Malta, I wish them good luck managing themselves. They, they are actually strengthening their border, so that's not good. Okay, they only get the land construction speeds. That's okay. Uh, they have two civilian factories and nothing else. Well, they are fascists, so we're gonna crush the four right there. Well, also, I want to ask you, dear viewers, uh, what policy do you want to, us to take? Just to capture any countries or first to restore the countries who were a former part of the British Empire, like the African colonies here and Canada, India, the British Raj, Australia, etc. Do you want me to restore direct rule of the former ter territories of the British Empire or just go for a general conquest? Well, that's up to you first. You're gonna decide that. Queen and far right mate. Elite members of the far right parties will have to say first this mod has a really many events. That's just great. Uh, British National Party and others met with Her Majesty this morning for an official state breakfast. While the media weren't permitted inside once the meeting began, it is clear they were discussing some kind of deal with the other states. The de this deal could put far right parties at the forefront of British politics for the coming decades, taking over more moderate political positions from the center. Returning home, BNP leader Nick Griffin could only say the meeting was productive and helped him clear up various policy positions with the Queen. Interesting. Now it's uh, time to abolish the House of Commons. How you guys want it from me? What is the point of absolute royal rule if Parliament is still allowed to operate? Yeah, let's get rid of that. We got the spirit for our demands. Okay, which increases our recruitable population and also the monarchism. So the Windsor Party should become slowly but steadily the strongest one in Britain. When time progresses, it should happen. Okay. Well, I want to get better at Let's get Challenger too. Alright. There we go. I really need more slots as well, for that instance. Come on, 30 more days. This episode will be finished after we uh, conquered Malta. And in the next episode, the United Arab Republic, uh, who is getting the army up, will fall. But with the unity of 41%, how I said, after the capture of Syria, it shouldn't be a problem. Amy Weishaupt found that. Oh no. Okay, I'll, I'm, I'm reading out too much. If you want to read this, just uh, pause the game. Rest in peace. Okay, it's really nice that there are so many events though, so really, really nice. I love that fact. We're getting our... Oh, I've lost the justification. That, that's not a problem. I just can do it once more, since it only increases by 0%, so, yeah. It's 10%, which has been caused by us. It won't go down, because uh, the minimum is 25%, so that's fine, actually. Yeah. 2011 rights. Oh. Okay. Once more, if you want to read it, go ahead. Damn anarchists. Damn anarchists, they will pay for this. Okay, time to... Break now. It's time to activate the plan. They're preparing great out of mind and declare the war. The order of Malta will be no more. Uh, sorry, Malta, but I simply need you as a springboard to invite, uh, yeah, to invite other countries. I'm getting an MBT. Let's also get better uh, mechanized equipment. The FV 510 barrier. Okay, well, I'm not the bastion of European democracy anymore, am I? Not really, hot. Oh, okay. Let's see, they have well, a field member of around 1,000 while we are invading them with around 130,000 units at once. Oh, well, it's uh, 1 to 1. Let's see, it's 92%. Uh, They're gonna run out of organization fairly, fairly quick, I can tell you that. Yeah. But we lost for two more days, and we are going on soil, and we landed in Malta, and there we go, Trito Valletta. So the result in the annexation of Malta complete. So, Malta, welcome back to Britain. No, it was a part of Britain, and now it's still a part of Britain. Uh, we lost uh, half of the factories there, so one factory we lost. Well, that's great. Now, I'm going to do the preparations to invade Egypt in the next episode. All I can do now is to tell my navy to base in Malta, so everything is ready and steady for the invasion. Go ahead into Malta. Well, there we go. Egypt, I mean the United Arab Republic, will fall first. Before they get too strong, we should... Execute our plan. Well, with this instance, I want to uh, thank you all for watching me. 
Go sure to check out my other content and go sure to like and subscribe. I thank you all for watching. Also, go sure to wow it and I hope to see you all next time in the next episode. Share please as well. And goodbye, have a nice day.